Hi class! Welcome to our online math lesson today. Today we're going to be looking at representing up to the number 500 using pictures. Hmm, that sounds a little bit strange. But we do that with money. We have money that represents 5 cents and 10 cents and 25 and 100 or 500. And so today we're going to be looking at some pictures that represent numbers. The first one has, it's a square, and it has 10 groups of 10 on it. Hmm, what would 10 groups of 10 represent? We could count it out. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. 10 groups of 10 would be equal to 100. Just like when we use our base 10 blocks, there's 10 columns and 10 rows, making 100 little blocks. And that is what our paper is going to represent today. It's a picture of 100. The next little one that we have is smaller, and it has 10 little pennies on it. And that is just like our rod in our base 10 blocks because there are, this is also broken up into 10 little blocks. Our last one is really tiny. I'm going to hold it closer to the camera so that you can see it. It only has one little penny on it and it's going to represent one just like our little one or individual block in our base 10 blocks. So I'm going to give you a closer look at some of the pictures that we're going to use to represent numbers today. Let's look. The first thing that we're going to do is we are going to organize all of our pictures. If you have these at home, you can do it as well. I'm going to put all of the larger ones together. These are our groups of 100. There are 10 groups of 10. Hmm. And then I'm going to separate the ones that have pictures of 10 pennies and the ones that only have one. So I have my 100s, my 10s, and my 1s. Let's see how many 100s there are. One, two, three, four. I have four groups of 100. Hmm. If we were counting them, it would be 100, 200, 300, 400. Let's count and see how many groups of 10 we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I'll have to put this one at the top. Twelve. Hmm. Let's count by ten and see how many little pennies there would be all together. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120. Wow, that's a lot. Now let's see how many individual ones we have. And I'm going to try to move them as I count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. I have 12 of the small ones. Hmm. I think that what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some of these out and we are going to see what number they represent. Here I have some pictures out. We're going to see what numbers these would represent. I have one, two, three groups of 100. So I'm going to put a three in my 100's place. How many groups of 10 do we have? 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That would be 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So I'm going to put a 5 in my tens place. And how many do I have representing ones? 1, 2. So I'm going to put a 2 in my ones place. There were pictures that represented 352. Here I have some more pictures that represent numbers. I have two groups of 100, 100, 200. So I'm going to use the number 2 to be in our 100s place. Then I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 groups of 10. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. I'm going to use the number 6 in the tens place to show 60. Hmm, how many ones do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I guess I could count them by 2 as well. 2, 4, 6, 8. So I'm going to put an 8 in our ones place. Here we've used pictures to represent the number 268. I have our numbers out again. How many groups of 100 do I have? You're right, there's only one group. I'm going to put out the number 1 for our hundreds place. How many groups of 10 do we have? Zero! I'm going to put a zero in the tens place. And then how many ones? One, two, three, four, five, six. One hundred and six. Our pictures represent the number 106. Here we have three groups of 100. 100, 200, 300. So I'm going to put a three in my 100s place. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven groups of 10, which means 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. I'm going to put a seven in the tens place. And then we've got one, two, three, four left over in our ones place, 374. Wonderful counting. This time, I'm not using pictures. Instead, I'm using our base 10 blocks. These blocks represent 100. So I have one, two of them, or 100, 200. I'm going to put a two in the 100s place. Here, I have our rods representing groups of 10. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. There's five groups of 10, so I'm going to put a five in the tens place. And here I have one, two, three little ones left over. So our number would be 200, 253. I have one more group here using our base 10 blocks. How many groups of 100 do I have? One, two, three. So I'm going to use the number 3 in the 100s place. Hmm. How many rods do I have showing 10? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Hmm. I guess I could have counted that another way. I would know with my tallies that that's one group of 5. So 5, 6, 7, 8. I have 8 groups of 10. How many ones do I have? Zero! So our number would be 380. These blocks are representing the number 380. I know that you can use blocks or pictures to represent numbers. Good job! Well, I think that you did a wonderful job today. Today we're learning that pictures can represent numbers. And we learned that 10 groups of 10 is representing our 100. We learned that 10 little pennies would represent 10. And we learned that just a little picture of one could also represent one. Sometimes pictures 
can be used to help us realize what numbers are. And we can use pictures to help us count or add or remember and figure out problems and questions. It's a really good way to help you solve some math problems. I hope that you learned how to count and represent numbers up to 500. I hope that you have a wonderful day class. Bye-bye.